It's a virus that put the world on pandemic watch, Ebola. The virus killed 11,000 people since 2013, most of them in West Africa. Countries there are recovering slowly, but countries that were spared are asking, how can we contain another outbreak in the future? CCTV's Katerina Vitozzi has more. In Liberia, Ebola may be over, but the disease is far from forgotten. Here in the capital's main hospital, posters like this are everywhere. The deadly virus, which normally starts with a fever, has also permanently changed how medical staff operate. This is the new uh, triage system set up by the German Red Cross in collaboration with JFK. Okay, so um, it's different from what we used to do. So now all the patients that come through the main gate will get triaged through here where they have their temperatures taken. What happened during 2014 was so terrible that um, a lot of um, healthcare practitioners just sat it out, just went home. Okay, with this in place, people have more confidence to come and work and, and, and save lives. In West Africa, Ebola struck Liberia, Guinea and Sierra Leone the hardest, killing more than 11,000 people and affecting many thousands more. It decimated already weak, understaffed health systems. Its legacy, the incentive and international funding to build medical facilities better able to cope with major outbreaks. Most of the changes have actually been high infection prevention control measures because previously we really didn't have that much in terms of infection control. Yep. So reduction in the number of patients per bed, bed spacing, hand washing stations are the major IPC changes in addition to really painting the place, working on the tiles and just making the place look a bit more pleasant. It's not just the worst affected countries that have changed safety practices since Ebola struck. Here in Ghana, at the country's main international airport, passengers have their temperatures checked upon arrival and departure. Similarly, in Nigeria, if you arrive there, passengers have to complete an Ebola health form. Governments know how quickly a resurgence of the disease can happen, and they hope that these small precautions might prevent that. Sierra Leone and Guinea are still yet to be officially declared Ebola-free, but if new cases do occur, they can now be dealt with much faster. The World Health Organization has built an international rapid response force to quickly get healthcare teams where they need to be. Katerina Batotsi, CCTV, Accra, Ghana.